In this video, I'm going to show you how you can set up the currency and the shop in Stream Avatars. So we open Stream Avatars and we go to Shop Editing. Here we're going to Currency Settings first. I want to start off with the Currency Settings because it makes sense to be able to get the currency before people can get something with the currency, I think. <laughs> Here we can set our currency name. How do you want your currency to be called? I will leave it on gold, but you can set it on whatever you want. If we leave this on Stream Avatars, it will just use the Stream Avatars currency. You can also link it to Streamlabs Stream Elements, Streamlabs Local, which is Streamlabs Chatbot, and mix it up app. Here we can always return to the pricing settings, which is the shop itself. So let's go back to the currency settings. Show on extension. There is a Stream Avatars extension. If you have installed that, people can see what they can buy with their currency and how much they got. If you click on this, people can see that. Enable exclamation mark currency command. This will be in your Twitch chat. People can see how much currency they have by typing exclamation mark currency. We can go over that command in a second as well. But if you want to activate it, click on here. Streamer owns all items. I would definitely recommend turning this on. Just make sure that you can set everything up as you want to. Announce bid transactions. If people buy something in the store with bids, it will be announced in chat. Amounts greater than zero. So basically, this says if bits getting paid for items, we will show that in the chat, but only if it's more than zero bits. So if you want only 100 bits or more to be displayed, you can set this on 100. But I recommend just doing zero because then everybody is paying bits is being shown in chat. And this will be the message shown then. User, this is a bit of code that was sent for the name of the person who did it. So if I did it, this will just say tree, has unlocked the item in the shop that they, ha that they have paid for with this amount of bits, so this is just the number they've paid for it. You can change this message as you want, but I do recommend keeping this bits of code in, so you make sure that all the information is displayed in here. Income amount, this is how much they earn. Right now I'm not using the currency on here because I already use a lot of different currencies and I don't want it to be confusing for people. So here you can say for everybody, one. But if you're a follower, you get two instead of one point. But if you're a subscriber, you get even four. If you're a subscriber, you don't get seven, but you get four. As a subscriber will only use subscriber amounts, other incomes will not be added. So you will not get any of these other ones. Like I just said, you get just four. If you're followers, you just get two. If you're not following, you get one. And how often are we gonna get this? Right now we're getting it every zero seconds. If we put one, then we get every second we get points. This might be a lot. So maybe we should do like 10 minutes, for example. 600 seconds. Then every 10 minutes we get four points if we are subscribed, two if we are following, and one if we're not following or subscribed. We're gonna go to return to the pricing settings now. Now here you can see all the avatars that you're using, all the colors that you're using for these avatars. If you don't know how to set those up, I have a video right here that explains how to set up avatars where I also go about colors. Then here are all the gears you set up, the actions they can do, so if you set only the standard actions, you will have sit, dance, jump, hug, attack, fart, and move. Those are the actions and you will see them per character. Then here are name tags that you have set up and sound alerts that you can let people trigger. All these tabs basically work the same, but I'm just gonna show it with the avatars because you can see these options are the same for every of these things. It's just like a different tab. So let's say this is our daisy avatar. And we want the Daisy avatar to be able to be bought for 100 coins. That means 100 times 10 minutes for people that don't follow, 50 times 10 minutes for people that do follow, and 25 times 10 minutes for people that are subscribed, right? Because we said how much you're gonna earn per 10 minutes, right? We can say that the Daisy avatar costs 10 gold. Gold, because that's how our currency is called. We can see that right here again. But we can also say they can buy it for bits. So they can buy it for 500 bits, they get this avatar. Nobody else gets it, except for people that pay 500 bits. We can also say they need to gift. And then here we can also say this, this one is only for people that follow. Subscribers that follow count. Moderators that follow count. But people that do not follow cannot use this. We can say subscribers and people that follow. So somebody who subscribed but not follows can use it. Somebody that follows but isn't subscribed can use it. Or we click on moderators. People that are moderators can use it. We can combine all these things but the end. They need to be all. If you use or, we can have one of these instances and then they can use it. So with or, it doesn't matter if you complete all of these 
things that we just fill in with N. You need to be all of the above to be able to use it. Okay, I want it to be mine free, so I untick all of these. If everything is unticked and there is zero cost of it, everybody can use these avatars, unless you've set your general here to be on follower only or on subscriber only. Only those people will spawn, so only those people can use the avatars. Okay, let's go to the bot commands. And then we have currency here. This is where we can set some more currency settings for the command. We can change the command name. For example, if you call your currency gold, you can do activate more gold to be the one instead of currency. We can enable the commands here as well. Enable output, which is these outputs. So now these work. Restrictions. Only me, the caster, the streamer can do it. Everybody that's bot can use the command. Everybody that's subscriber can use the command. Subs and follows, or everybody can check their currency. If people can use the input in chat, don't put in any of these ticks. But if you want people to whisper your bot, you can put this in. If you want your bot to whisper back, you can put this in. This is cooldown. CD is cooldown. You can say that everybody in a chat can only use it once per five minutes, for example. But you can also say, a user, I don't want to use it to spam everything. So user can only do it once in 10 minutes. Here we have the same pieces of code again as before. And we can change the sentence, but make sure to not change the bits of code as they stand for a number or a name or something like that that you need in the command. You can customize all these. We also have gift commands here. Again, we can restrict it. These settings are the same. We've got the user cooldown and the global cooldown. We can change all these outputs and we can set the import words. So now it is gift all or gift loop box, for example. We can reset all these settings by clicking on reset and it will be going back to the default settings. We want to keep this on bot moderators or caster because we don't want people to be able to give free points out. Okay, we also have the shop commands here, which basically tells you what things you can buy. You can also have that in the extension on Twitch in your panels. The word that triggers it, exclamation mark shop at this moment, but you can do store or anything else. If you have another bot that uses shop already, you could change it to store. You can enable and disable it here. Reset command, whisper output and input, same as before. Global cooldown, user cooldown, and we can change all these sentences again. And people can buy things with this command by doing exclamation mark shop buy and then the item they want to buy either the gear or the avatar or the name tag if you want to make sure everybody loses their currency what you can do is go to user editor and click on clear currency here it resets everybody's currency back to zero you can also reset everybody and their items back to default by clicking on delete user data here Delete all. But be careful, if people paid bids, they might become angry. <laughs> Make sure to go to this tutorial where I explain you how to set up your avatars because that's really important to know first actually before you set up your shop. So let's go there. 